Welcome to Introduction to Python. This video will be going over print statements as well as variables. Wherever you're at in REPL, make sure you're logged in so it saves your work. And then you want to just click right here on New REPL. You type in Python right here. You can give it a name, call it print and variables. Variables, if I can spell correctly, video and then create REPL. This then gives you the environment that we showed in the last video, and you can do just basic, uh, you can do anything you want inside this file. One of the first things I do whenever I open this up, I just go ahead and slide this over so I have some more room, especially if you're going um, half screen, it's good to have all of the space that you can. So we kind of already went over this, but just for review, if you want to print something out in the console, you just do print, and parentheses and then quotation marks and whatever you type in here will print out. And there we have it. Whatever you type in here will print out. Okay. Uh, once we have a print, you can, and you can do that multiple times on different lines. Print. Hi. Hi shows up. You can then select this and paste, 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 and it'll run it and it prints all of those very, very quickly. Okay, and that's as simple as printing gets. Whatever you have in the quotation marks, I like to put two quotation marks, but you can also just use one quotation mark and it'll still run the same way. But so if you see one, say something like that. Don't worry about it. But I would just use two because that's what a lot of other Languages use. So that's printing out. The other, the other next basic concept I want you to understand is what's called a variable. How you do that is you just basically type in a name. You just type in variable name or whatever you want it to be called, and you just set it equal to something. Set it equal to 12. That's it. You can have it be called pizza equals love it is equal to 17. Blue is equal to 20. Um, green is equal to one. Whatever you want it, whatever you want it to be. Okay. Once we have some variables set up, um, what's what it's actually doing is it's taking the very it's taking a variable is simply something that can store value. So right now green is storing the value of one. So if I did print green, what do you think is going to print out? One. Why is it printing off one? I told it to print off green. It printed off one because green is equal to one. Okay. If I put green in quotation marks, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to print off green. Okay. That's the difference. Is those quotation marks make all the difference? Okay. So if we could then do comma blue, comma pizza, comma variable name, you also see it right there. You can click on that, and it'll also fill out the rest of your variable name if you've got some long variable names. So there we go, 1, 20, 17, and 12. It's printing off everything on one line because it's right there next to each other. You could also do comma what are all these numbers, run, and then that print it all off on the same line. Just did a comma, then quotation marks. And you can really do that anywhere. Just quotation marks, I, comma, and then it we just put that in the middle of all of the, the things. Okay, you can also have variables. I like to have variables set up at the top, because then you can use them below. You can also have um, variables save strings. So you can just have it be, you have to put quotation marks, and then say Mr. Swallow. And then I can do print name. And then let's see what happens. Mr. Swallow gets printed off. Okay. So make sure you put your name instead of Mr. Swallow's name. Um, something else you could do is if I had another variable up here called favorite color equals blue. See how that's that red, red squiggly line showing up? If you hover over it, sometimes it'll tell you what is wrong with the undefined blue. 
Why is it giving me that error? Because I don't have those quotation marks around it. It's thinking blue is a variable name. Because blue has not yet been set up, it can't find it. Programs run from the top to the bottom. So if we move this down to here, run, it works. So blue is equal to 20, but now I'm saying that favorite color is equal to blue, which is the same as this. So let's see what would happen if I printed off favorite color. What do you going to print off? Is it going to be favorite color? Is it going to be blue? Is it going to be 20? What's going to print off? Let's see. 20. Okay, so 20 gets stored into blue, and then we take blue and save it into favorite color. And then we printed it off here. All works the same. Something else that you can do is you can have a you can do some math in with variables. We'll cover math a little more in depth later on, but we can just do one plus one equals number. And then if I print it off number down here, what do you think is gonna print off? Let's take a look. So it printed off two. 1 plus 1 equals 2, so it's stored that numerical value of 1 plus 1. And there you have it. That's a very basic rundown of variables. You just call it whatever it is you want to call it, and you, you, you store values in it. You can store strings. If you want to store string or character or uh, text, you have to put in quotation marks. If you want to store numeric value, you, have, you don't put strings. You don't put quotation marks around it. Um, and then you can print off variables, you can print off variables and string all in the same line, and that is how you do that.